The New York Knicks had their first promising season in years, but quickly realized in the playoffs that they needed better play from their starters in the backcourt. So, they went about signing Kemba Walker and trading for Evan Fournier and directly addressed the biggest issues this team had. But it's still not clear whether the team overall will exceed their fourth place finish from last year. And more importantly, whether they can get deeper in the playoffs. One look at the synergy rankings of the Knicks in the pick and roll, and you'll see why they were desperate to bring better playmakers in for the season. Not only were they ranked 18th in efficiency, but RJ Barrett was the guy using the most of these possessions, followed by Alfred Payton. A big reason for their inefficiency was because there simply was no threat of the three-point shot out of the most common action in the NBA. Barrett shot 11 threes as the pick and roll ball handler out of 302 total attempts, and Peyton shot five in 289 attempts. To put that in perspective, Steph Curry shot 202 threes out of his 372 total field goal attempts in the pick and roll. Overall, these two simply did not finish well inside the arc and also had a turnover problem. You'll notice that Barrett would turn it over a lot when running the high pick and roll, the typical domain of your lead guard and he struggled mightily with his passing and reads when attacking the basket from this angle. Normally, as a shooting guard, you get a lot more inside ball screens on the wing where you can attack the middle. In Barrett's case, the right wing, so he can use his dominant hand to collapse the defense. Alfred Payton, on the other hand, had a balanced medley of miscues in the pick and roll, from getting stuck in the air without a pass, to troubling footwork that led to travels, to struggling to throw lobs, and run-of-the-mill ball handling issues. That said, the triumvirate of Emmanuel Quickly, Derrick Rose, and Alec Burks were all much more effective in this action, and they are all coming back in supporting roles. It's a bit of a bummer to me that Quickly's progress will be limited because of all the veterans who will get minutes over him, considering how promising he is as a young dynamic guard that isn't intimidated by long athletic help defenders but it's clear that these guys are best suited coming off the bench. So it was an imperative that the Knicks bring in starting quality guards, who just so happen to be excellent pick and roll players. And the key with Fournier is how much of the floor he's going to open up as a three point threat. While he does possess a decent mid range game, he'll look for the three ball whenever his defender gets hung up on the ball screen. He possesses a variety of footwork to get these shots off from the hop to quick release once the opening presents itself, to traditional one-twos with either a left-right or right-left, depending on the direction. And he's also shown evidence that he has the elite skill of making contested step-backs off of multi-dribble combo moves. You might not realize this, but Fournier is a legit 6'7", enough size to finish over and around defenders near the basket. And it's his shiftiness that keeps guys off balance. His left-hand finishing is as good as his right, making it hard to send him to his weak hand, knowing he's so comfortable using it to shoot tough floating shots softly for buckets. While there's no doubt Fournier makes the Knicks better on offense, it's not clear to me whether he'll be a great fit alongside his other Knicks teammates. But what I am certain of is how well your new Rhino Shield protective case will fit around your phone to provide maximum protection. While a dropped ball might result in a turnover, your dropped phone is protected by Rhino Shield's durable but sleek looking cases. And you can get any NBA team logo you want, letting everyone know which team you represent and that you're serious about protecting your phone. You can get extreme impact protection by combining the Rhino Shield phone case and their 3D impact screen protector. It's as impenetrable as Nerland's Noel's rim protection in Tom Thibodeau's staunch defense. They've even got NBA branded AirPod cases, which is huge considering how often I use them to listen to the games on my phone. Not only do they have everything NBA, they've also got NASA and League of Legends. Who knows, maybe they'll even have a b-ball breakdown case if enough of you guys request it. Starting right now, you'll get 20% off your order, but act fast. This discount only lasts 7 days before it goes down to 10%, so click on the link in the description below to get your Rhino Shield case in a hurry, just like Fournier's transition 3 point shots that will surely give a boost to the Knicks 22nd ranked fast break attack. During Fournier's best season in Orlando, half his transition shots came from behind the arc, and he nailed 46% of them. 
So look for Tom Thibodeau to push the ball a lot more for early and open threes, especially considering they were ranked 29th in fast break frequency last year. Now, let's turn to the other big acquisition the Knicks made, Kemba Walker, and his excellent pick and roll game. While he also stretches the floor from behind the arc, you'll see plenty of mid-range shots out of this action as well. He loves to explode off the dribble, get a step on his man with the help of the ball screen, and then search out the soft spot in the defense where he can hop into his shot, hang in the air to control his energy, then drop it straight through the hoop. What worries me about Kemba is how much his knees cave in towards each other as he loads to jump, putting tremendous stress on his knee tendons, and it's not surprising that after years of this, he's starting to deal with knee injuries that have kept him out of big portions of the last two seasons. That said, Walker will also shoot a ton of threes out of the pick and roll and hit at an elite level. Last year, it was 41.1%, with the primary damage done out top as the lead guard in the Celtics offense, and also on the right wing, another righty shooter going to his right and pulling up from deep off the dribble. The immediate effect of both these guys in the pick and roll will do wonders for the Knicks offense. First off, they were ranked 24th in three-point frequency last year and 22nd in offensive rating. With these two guys getting the bulk of the pick and rolls, you'll see their rankings rise considerably, but only if Kemba can stay healthy enough to have an impact on the majority of the season. With both of these guys in Boston, we also saw some ball screen action involving both of them. And with Fournier picking and popping and the threat of Kemba attacking downhill, we'd better hope Tibbs gets a lot of this happening out top it will no doubt create some of their best looks they can get. Another big reason for bringing in two guys who can create is to alter Julius Randle's role as the number one option. I had warned you in the middle of the regular season last year that a guy who so completely relied on the mid-range like he did would be a problem in the playoffs. And it was the main reason they got beat as he struggled mightily to hit so many tough long twos. By spreading the floor and offering a lot more threat from outside, it will help keep them in games against the good teams. Just looking at the three-point results in the five games of their playoff series, you can see why the Knicks can't afford to get outscored by so much and so often if they have any hope of getting to the next round. So keep your eye on these two and their production. Thibodeau has a history of guards doing very well in his offenses, and despite losing some of their defensive players like Reggie Bullock and Alfred Payton, I suspect he'll still squeeze enough out of them to be a tough club to score on. And with an improved offense, watch for the Knicks to be a tougher out in the playoffs in 2022.